back to another episode of Adoptions from the Heart TV. I'm your host, Amanda Alaberti. Many people aren't aware that Adoptions from the Heart has something called a birth parent fund. The fund is set up to help birth parents um, after they place a child for adoption that may be struggling and just need help. Um, so I wanted to take the time to sit down with birth mom Mary, um, who recently came to me for that exact reason and let you know that this fund really does help these people. Mary is not someone that comes to me on a regular basis asking for help. In fact, she usually waits to the very last moment where I know she's tried every way to, to find a solution. Um, so I knew that when she called me, there was something really wrong. So Mary, share a little bit about that day when you called me. Um, <clears throat> well, I had uh, just received some court paperwork from my landlord that um, I was facing eviction. Yep. Um, and I had about 10, 12 days to come up with um, like almost a $1,000. Um, and so I knew that I was behind, um, but I had been, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul and trying to keep a lot of balls in the air at one time. And I was like clawing my way, trying to shuffle and make it work. And it just spiraled. And when I got the court paperwork, that's when I knew that I was like out of time, I was out of options and um, I was overwhelmed and I really, I didn't know, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't know um, what I was gonna do. Yeah. So, um, but I know that no matter what's going on in my life, whether you could have helped me or not, I knew you would have at least listened and tried to offer me some kind of, you know, guidance, some kind of support, whether you were able to help me financially or not, just knowing I could trust you and that you were that safe space that I could even just talk to you about it. Um, and that's why I was like, let me call my guardian angel, Amanda, and see, you know, if she, if she can help, so. And one piece to the story that you, you left out is that you actually helped somebody else during this time. Share a little bit about that. Yeah, like, I, the reason I got behind was a, um, a loved one and her daughter needed help. Um, they were facing having their electric turned off. And I just, I, I, I couldn't sleep at night worrying about that, knowing that that was gonna happen. So, you know, I paid, paid the electric bill for her. Um, and then, um, you know, that just kind of put me behind and I thought I would be able to kind of figure it out, but I, I, I wasn't able to, so. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, again, having known you the last few years, I know that when you reach out for help, you really need it. And as soon as I got that phone call, you know, I made the phone calls yeah. I needed to make to see if we could help you. Yeah. And I think it was a matter of a day or two. Yeah, that I think we it called was like, you back. Yeah, I think it was like two days and honestly I wasn't like expecting nearly what you know I wasn't at all expecting for the entire um, amount to be taken care of. Um and um, you got back to me so quickly because, you know, I, you recognize that, you know, there was a time crunch. I, I had a deadline yeah. and um, and um, you got back to me and, and you were like, I'm taking care of it. And you, my hero, you, you saved me. Well, and again, I want people to know that it's because of donations from the community of individuals who hear stories yeah. such as Mary's and all she's been through in placing her daughter for adoption that people want to help. And by donating to the Adoptions from the Heart Birth Parent Fund, you're able to get immediate results of yeah. helping people. Yeah, and I, you know, a lot of times like when people donate, donate they don't see yeah. where that money is going. It's kind of like invisible out in the atmosphere. Like I am a real person. You have all the generous people that donated kept me from being homeless, me and my cat. So, <laughs> um, you know, so this fund, you know, is literally like saving people like it's it's saving us and we're and the people that it helps we're so appreciative we're so grateful and um like I could you know I wish I could thank every person individually because yeah. um you know 
the world is, is kind of like a not a great place all the time right now. And just to know people are so open and willing to help a stranger. Yeah. So this is the face of, you know, this is where your money is going. Yeah. It's it's a real fund and it's real people's lives are being helped for the better with this fund. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I just hope one day I'll be able to like pay it forward yeah. to someone else. Well, you already have. You chose to help that person and that's why I knew right then and there that we had to help you. So continue doing it and we'll continue helping people. Thank you, Amanda. You're welcome. Thank you.